Hello guys, welcome back. In this video series, we are gonna study about creating the master images, creating the machine catalog and the delivery grid. So before we go ahead with this, all you have to do is the controller machine that we have got, make sure that your connection servers are added from here. So go to the hosting in the studio, we'll go with add connection and resources. From the drop down list, you'll select the backend environment as VMware vSphere, or if you are using Citrix Zen servers, you'll select Citrix Zen servers. We'll be providing username, I mean, provide the connection address for the uh, vCenter server, username, password, and you can give any name over here. You can just go with next and finish. So once you are done with this, the next task is going to be to create a master image. So to create a master image, the very first thing that we are supposed to do is create a virtual machine. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to straight forward, go ahead and use the production environment now because the lab environment is going to be pretty much slower and uh, it's going to be very hazy. So here I go with the prod environment. So to create the virtual machine first from my vSphere client, I have to connect to the vCenter server. So I'm connected to the vCenter server here. So I right click on the vCenter server production resources, new virtual machine. Welcome wizard, just proceed with next. So I'll name it as Windows 7 master image. And just go with next. Here is where you'll be selecting the storage. So which storage you want to create your virtual machine. Go with next. Now which type of machine it is? Go ahead Windows 7 64 bit. I'll go with next. Network adapter, which kind of adapters you would like to use, you can just select it from here. Just go next. Hard disk, just go with a thin provision. So if you're going with a thin provision, then uh, in that case, you will be not wasting the storage. So I'm giving it as a 40 GB thin storage disk and I go with next and finish. So let me see, where did that go? Windows 7 master image. Okay, so here is our virtual machine. So right click on this and let me open the console. So now we are supposed to install the operating system inside this. So let me just play the machine. I was going for DHCP. So what I have to do is I'll go to the settings and I need to attach the ISO to this. So ISOs and here I have Windows 7 ISO available with me. Go with OK and uh, make sure that it is connected. So here it's going to be the simple uh, operating system installation process. So once the operating system gets installed, once the operating system gets installed, then we have to join it to the domain, or the machine has to be domain joined, and then we will be installing the virtual delivery agent in this machine in order to make it as a master image. Or I'll just go with next. So installing an operating system is a pretty easy or nothing they got as a nothing like a rocket science over here. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and install the Ultimate Edition. Accept the license agreement. Go with next. And here you gotta go ahead with custom. Simply proceed with next. And the operating system installation starts. So let's wait for the operating system installation to get completed. Okay, so here we see so the environment is pretty much faster now. So let me name my computer system. Go with next. And just go ahead and perform the basic settings here. Okay, so our VM is installed. Once the VM installation is done, to make the VM flawless, let me go ahead and install the VMware tools inside this. So VMware tools are nothing but the device drivers. So after the installation of the VMware tools, your the cursor lagging problem, all those stuffs would get resolved. Installing VMware tools as well. Or pretty much easier. Installation is completed. Just go ahead with finish. And you need to reboot your machine once the installation of VMware tools is completed. So now you see cursor lagging problem and the other issues are resolved. The VM is pretty flawless now. Now, so virtual machine is installed. Once the installation is completed, 
once the installation is completed. The next thing is we have to add this machine to the domain. So in our lab environment, the name of the domain was uh, test.lab. problem with my username and the password over here. So let me just try around the password once again. Uh, there's been some issue with the password over here. Okay, so here you see, it says welcome to the domain. Just go with okay on this, okay, close, and you must restart your machine once it is joined with the domain for the changes to take effect. So let the machine get free. Okay, so the operating system installation is completed and we are done with the VMware tools as well. So it says send control or delete to login. So make sure that in this VM, once it is joined to the domain, to make it as a master image. So we have to perform certain installations inside the machine for that. Make sure that you have logged in as the domain administrator only. If you are logging in with a local user, that it's going to be pretty much problem. You might go ahead and come across through the nightmares if you're going to do that. So always the, here you have to log in as the domain administrator. So I repeat once again what we have done till here. So to create a master image, to have a master image, the very first thing is we require a virtual machine. The virtual machine should be joined to the domain. Okay, and also make sure that there is a DHCP server already configured in your environment. Now, to install the VDA, this is the next step for the preparation of the master image. Now, we have to go ahead and install the virtual delivery agent. Now, virtual delivery agent or the VDA is available in the same ISO that we have used for the Citrix storefront server, for the controller, studio license server it is the same image that has to be used over here as well so let me go ahead and punch the image over here so we are using zen apps and desktop 7.6 go with okay and make sure that it is connected 
So here we go. And run the Zen app and Zen desktop wizard here. And you have to go here with the Zen desktop. Go ahead with the start. And now you see that the delivery controller and the very fast VDA option is grayed out here. And you see the other options are also grayed out apart from the Citrix Studio. It completely says that it is incompatible OS because this Windows 7 is a desktop operating system. So here the VDA or the virtual delivery agent that has to be installed should also be a VDA for the desktop OS. So we have the different types of VDA here. We got VDA for the desktop operating system and the VDA for uh, the server operating system. Now since Windows 7 is a desktop OS, we have to install the VDA for Windows desktop OS. Now, what would you like to do with this? Do you want to create it as a master image or you would like to enable the remote PC? So go with create a master image. Proceed with next. So we just want a standard VDA. If you would like to go with HDX engine, so that is used for 3D rendering, if you would like to have the uh, 3D effects or something related to the 3D options, if you are going to do inside the machine, then you go ahead with the uh, HDX 3D Pro. Or if you just want it to be a simple Windows 7 machine, then go ahead with install the standard VDA. So here I'm going to go ahead with install the standard VDA. Go ahead with next. Yes, virtual delivery agent required. Go with next. Now, most of the times we make mistakes here. So here, always make sure that do it manually is selected. Do not go with the other options. Now here, we are supposed to provide the address of your controller machine. So in our lab environment, the controller machine, the lab environment that till now we have been seeing and where we have installed the controller. So name of that machine was controller.test.lab. This is what you are supposed to get. Give the FQDN of the controller machine. Okay. So here since I have moved to the production environment, so here the controller this is going to be different from the one that we have configured. And make sure to test the connection. Get a green tick, click on add. So if I, in my environment, I have two controllers, so I can give both the controllers address. Again, go ahead with test the connections. Here is green tick and go with add. If you do not get a green tick, if you do not get the green tick, make sure that you don't add it. Then go with next. Optimize performance. So would you like to optimize the performance of this VM? Would you like to monitor the performance of this VM? Yes, definitely. Remote assistance. So yes, we do require the remote assistance. Yes. Now, when will the remote assistance feature will be usable for us? That is when you are going to go ahead and troubleshoot for the clients. Whenever the client is facing any of the issues, so with, you do not need to take the console of the client's machine from the back end and ask the client to wait. Without that itself, you can just assist the client on the remote assistance. Use a real time audio transport for audio. Yes, definitely. So if you are not going to do this, then in the case what's going to happen is, let's say uh, the end user is trying to play some video or the audio files. So in that case, the output, the video, the audio output, will it be an MP3 file or it be a video file? So for that the audio output should be on the client machine, not on your system. Right, so make sure that audio transport is installed. And go ahead with the personal V disk. So, if you would like to give a separate storage for the user, then go with the personal V disk. Go ahead with next. These are the firewall ports, those will get opened up inside this Windows 7 firewall. Again, the same options you are getting here automatically or manual. So, the best way is to go with automatic. Go next, the summary tab, and go ahead with install. So again here, uh, the, the installation of this is going to take uh, quite some time, all right? So here, uh, the prerequisites, it's going to be your .NET framework, your Visual uh, X86, so it's going to take pretty much time to install. Okay, that was a bit quick. The same thing if you are doing the lab environment, it will take a lot of time. 
right? So here, since we have moved to the production environment, so directly we are working in the production environment. So that's the reason the things are getting installed quick. So document framework is becoming a pretty time consuming task over here. Anyways, we have to wait for it. Got no other option to work around. Okay, so the installation is almost completed. This is the component initialization. So the component initialization is completed and once this is done, we need to just restart the machine. This completes the creation of the master image. So I repeat these steps here once. So to create the master image, step one, make sure the DHCP server is configured. Step two, create a virtual machine. Step three, join the machine to domain. Step four, install VDA agent and once the installation is done step 5 is just restart the VM and your master image has completed. Next video we are going to see about creating the machine catalog with the help of the master image that we have created now. Thank you guys thanks for watching the video.